Right, I'll just give you a quick demonstration on uh, what I'm doing at the moment. So I'm using my four inch purdy brush here just for painting the coving with. I've been around and done a majority of the cutting in already, um, but I obviously haven't done a video on this yet. So here it is. I'm also using a little mini thick pile roller here. And the way I like to do this, is I just tend to use it out of this drum here, it's easy enough. Get under the edges of the coving first. You don't need to follow this pattern exactly, you can obviously do it the way you want to, but this is the way that I tend to do it. I'm just working that paint all under that pattern on that cove in there and making sure we cover every bit of it. Plenty of paint, I mean we're going back into this drum uh, pretty much every time we've put something on here. Right. Now we've got that coving area covered. What I like to do, I'm gonna start from here and I'm gonna go as far back as I can, just fanning it off at the end. So it's just lifting it lightly and just going off the edge. And with this, I'm not putting any more paint on this little thick Pile mini roller. I'm just going to use the paint that I've already put on just to blend these edges in, trying not to touch the coving, keep the brush marks on the coving, and then the roller pattern underneath. I don't like seeing difference in contrast from rolling this into big brush marks here, so that's why I tend to go right into the edges with the roller just to lose that defined brush. Um, edge. Obviously it might not matter to you but it matters a little bit to me. I like consistency, that's what it's all about for me. And we're going to do the same thing with that bottom edge to that picture rail. Is we're just going to take the roller over that from the paint we've just put on there and just give it the same effect as it will have once we've brought the other roller onto it. So this is more like a Victorian sort of style ceiling as opposed to your uh, flat edges or even if you've sometimes got a curved ceiling, your ceiling line will start underneath here. This comes all the way down to the picture rail. So it's a little bit of a different style here. But that there is just a little demonstration on how I have went round that lot and I'll be giving this two, three coats if it needs it. Um, we would like to hope two coats will almost get us there but if it needs a third then get on and do a third. <laughs> 